Hi, I'm Kathy, the Forager Chef here at Grow Alabama, and I'm also the chef owner of the Market Cafe at Pepper Place down on Southside, where I'd love for you to visit me. Today I'd like to show you uh, what's in our box. Um, we have over here, we have some gorgeous tender broccoli. Broccoli is fantastic. Um, and then we have a beautiful head of cauliflower. We also have a good pound of carrots. They're small enough to dice up or to do, just do a good little slice on them. And uh, bell peppers. And these are actually bulb Vidalia onions. So what I would recommend doing with all of this is maybe julienne this up, chop off your little florets here. Like I said, do some small slices of the carrots and the onions. And I would use the green as well and make it a nice little stir fry. Um, it's very simple. To stir fry it all up till nice and crisp, put it over some rice, and later I'm going to show you a, a product to use in, in place of soy sauce, which is full of amino acids, has a lot more uh, value to it, and a lot less sodium, and it's a natural product. So we're going to use that later on in our cooking demo as well. So it's something you could use here in your stir fry, and make it yummy and healthy and delicious. Also, we have here, once again, we've got the sweet potatoes again this week, and a new addition, we have these nice, pretty bee red potatoes, just little new potatoes. So I would recommend turning your oven on to about 350. Clean these up, put them in the oven, roast them all off, and you'll have them all ready for you to go. You can eat these at, at your whim. And you can make a potato salad. I'm going to show you how to also use these and just do roasted potatoes or sauteed with some rosemary. So I'll show you how to do this with this real simple dish on the side and get all your nutrients of your potatoes. We also have here this gorgeous bib lettuce. As you can see, it's very tender as I move it around. I'm shaking off pieces. I would highly recommend you go ahead and clean this. Use it immediately because you've got to remember these things are coming straight out of the ground. They're not preserved. Uh, they're tender and ready to go. So don't waste it. Go ahead and rinse it off. If you are going to keep it another day, rinse it off, wrap it in a paper towel. Uh, lightly and just keep it in your fridge that way and that'll preserve it a little bit longer but these things are pesticide free and fertilizer free so you, you want to take good care of them. All right here we have this beautiful Russian red kale and I think last week a lot of you asked how to use this weren't quite sure you know it's probably one of the tenderest most underestimated vegetables we have uh, it's just re regained popularity in the United States it was a actually Benjamin Franklin originally brought it here and it was also used by the Romans and the Egyptians. So this has been around a long time. It's full of amino acids, vitamin A, C, and E, very, very high uh, in heart healthy, um, heart healthy antioxidants. So this is something you need to know how to use. So in the cooking demo, I'm gonna use this in three different ways, and there'll be several other ways to use it in the recipes on the website. Last but not least, we have these beautiful tangerines. You had them last week. They're sweet, delicious, like candy. You have about six or seven of them so you have enough to take to lunch every day and have a wonderful healthy little snack. Thank you for joining me with Grow Alabama with this week's menu box presentation. Join me next week and we'll see what's in store for spring.